Did you ever coin roll hunt? Those are your first? Yes. Those oh. are my first uh, first two right there. So. That, that's awesome. I, We're going to get I you got caught up in the moment. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Tim with, uh, first name is fine if you want to. Tom. Tom? Yep, from Maine. I've been uh, been watching you for about six months and uh, finally uh, had a day off and decided to come down and see Tim and maybe do some, some business. So. You just gave him something, too, to check out, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, um, it checks out. It's a hunk of something. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, found, that, I found that gem on the, uh, on the internet and uh, eBay, and uh, uh, I could almost tell just from the, the price. And I said, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it just to just to do it. And pretty much knew what I was getting. So uh, the verifier is not even a uh, cursor anywhere near the brackets. Oh, my. Yeah, that's uh, we just grab that's a genuine here. fake. Let me take a real one. Oh, yeah. the, the cursor is right in the brackets. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Because that's legit. So you didn't spend much on that, right? No, and that that was kind of the big, uh, the the big tip off. And I thought, you know, but I'm going to do this anyway, and just uh, for for giggles and uh, straight so. straight from uh, China. Yeah, yeah. An Alibaba special. It's funny because it had. Uh, they said they were based in in uh, I believe Pennsylvania, and everything was through someplace here that's what they said and then when it came shipped it was from china so yeah. boy i bet they make a lot of money doing that yeah yeah, yeah. i mean you know the american eagle they, they're really easy to tell what you have it in your hand mm -hmm. um you know why it's still going on is it is a mystery yeah yeah i mean i just looked at it and immediately went wait that's not right and then of course did you, i did flipped you know it by eBay? So uh, I haven't yet. In fact, I just got that. And That's that bogus. was one reason I was I decided to come down yeah. um, hmm. and see you was to show that to you just because I, I just well, happened to get that. The machine is a so. Sigma Metalytics verifier. Yeah. And um, eBay is well aware of them because a lot of people sell them on eBay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just be, you need to notify them yeah. that this person sold you something that was um, yeah. totally okay. bogus. I definitely will. They didn't get much from me, but it's probably a good amount of money over there. Um, but yeah, I pretty much knew just from the just from the price. But you can also, you know, study it pretty well. Use a um, a rare earth magnet. A lot of times that'll did it stick. Yes. It stuck right to it. Yes, very, very uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, there was no uh, no question. Yeah, in fact, uh, it was so attractive. I think even before I got it close, it was pulling on it. So, yeah. and I ordered one of your uh, ping things. For oh, you did? Yes, I did. Well, have you tried it yet? No, I, I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, good. So yeah. I just got. I just uh, just ordered one. Oh, yeah. cool. So, yeah, you gotta let me know what you think yeah. of it. I like mine a lot, and uh, the price is right. So, yeah. So, what are you here for? Real stuff, right? Real stuff. Um, beginning to stack uh, gold and silver, and. Uh, um, haven't really decided whether it's rounds. Um, I've, I've looked for some, uh, kind of as a hobby, look for, uh, uh, junk silver. Um, my first hundred dollars, I got a, eh, not quite a little bit over a dollar. Um, and then the next $400 that I went through, I didn't find anything. So, um, oh, you were searching. Yeah. Coin roll I just, hunting. Yes. Ah. Coin roll hunting. And, uh, just kind of as a hobby, you know, you open up that roll and you're, you're kind of excited. Like, what am I going to find? And like a treasure hunt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Did you ever coin roll hunt as a kid or as a, uh, an adult? Uh, actually, I started college in 1964. And as I was talking with my father about my grades, <laughs> was it a discussion at end, or was like, it a rant it was, at that point it was still a discussion um and you know he put fast one on me and you know it cost me a lot of time and money but um you know my senior year i was going to be 21 and he said uh, well you're going to be 21 this year so you maybe should think about uh, how you're going to pay for your tuition and because I had, I had given him a couple of D's out of my report card. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
So I got a job with the Providence Journal Bulletin at night and I worked construction during the day. And, you know, I, I maybe slept three or four hours a day. Mm -hmm. This is in the summer between uh, junior and senior year. Three or four hours, similar to what you're doing right now. Yeah, very, yeah. very close to that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm up to three and a half to four hours. No, it's, it's not quite that bad. So I, I worked day and night throughout the summer, starting in May and uh, at the end of the year, at the end of the summer, I actually had $4,000. This is in 1967 to 68. Okay. And uh, so I went to the bursar's office, which is what they had there. And I say, I'm here to pay my tuition. And she goes to the card file. That's all they had back then. And she finds my card and she says, okay, that'll be $3,895. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot of money. Yeah. You know, hundred left over. And yeah, and I said, what? I mean, I literally worked day and night that whole summer. And I thought I was going to have a, you know, a couple of thousand dollars to play with, you know. And I, I so I paid the bill in cash. What? I said, oh my God, I had never seen so much money. And yes. it's gone. I knew immediately why my father was so pissed. And then he told me later, he says, I was only kidding. No, he didn't. He did, yeah. Oh, he did pull a fast one on you. <laughs> but you got the education, right. you got a good and job. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you learned something. Learned, something. learned a lot. Mm. Yes, that's, I was a political science major in, in college. And uh, we had some excellent professors back then. I mean, I went to Brown University. It's mm -hmm. um, that... Back then, it was probably 50-50 liberal conservative. Now it's like 98-2. Yeah. <laughs> Poli sci? Yeah. Never would have guessed that. Would you? Uh, that probably would have been high on my list. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm joking, yeah. of course. Yes. <laughs> Government was just as bad back then. So you didn't go into politics. People are constantly leaving comments saying they will vote for you yeah. in the next election cycle. <laughs> like, what What kept you, kept you out of politics? Um... I had a really good job with IBM. I, I first, uh, when I was a senior, uh, I had applied to um, uh, for various jobs in the Foreign Service to work in an embassy somewhere in the world. And there were several openings, but um, a very strong recommendation to look at the Peace Corps. So, um, you know, I looked at the Peace Corps, fill out the paperwork, you know, I had a resume and uh, was accepted in the Peace Corps. And then they sent the paperwork. Now, I don't, you, you see, you guys are so young. You don't remember a woman whose name nice. yeah, was great. Marjorie Michael Moore. If you uh, want to find out why they sent me all this uh, you know, massive paperwork that I had to sign off on, it was because of a woman named Marjorie Michael Moore. She went to an African country and... Um, uh, wrote all her feelings about the local people <clears throat> on a postcard. And I don't think it went past the post office, but it spread like wildfire. And that uh, was before social media. Oh, yeah. And it's and uh, countries were kicking the Peace Corps out because of it. The part where they required my you know, allegiance to Lyndon Johnson is what convinced me to drop the whole project. And um, wow. But I, you know, when I, when I left Brown, I had a low lottery number for the draft. And, um, you know, it's, I don't know, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but. Um, but you are. The last day of school, we were supposed to go to the post office, mm -hmm. get a card, and go empty out your mailbox, sign the card, and turn it in. Okay? So I go to my mailbox, and I open it up. And there's a draft notice. So I put it back in the mailbox, locked it, signed the card, and left. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I'm going to the Army sooner than I thought. Okay. So, so what are you going to do? I said, well, I'd love to get a job, but I think I'm going to end up in the Army one way or another. I was waiting for the MPs to show up and drag me out of class. So I started classes in the Whittemore pro in the MBA program. And uh, one day, a fellow named um, Jerry Spring 
came to class wearing an army uniform. And so after class, they say, hey, Jerry, what's with the uniform? He goes, well, I'm in the reserve unit in Concord. And I said, how do I get into the reserve unit in Concord? <laughs> And he said, oh, I handle the attendance, so the next meeting, why don't you come with me? And that's, you know, make a long story short, um, I went to the next meeting, and suddenly I was in the Army. And uh, they got called up, a part of the unit got called up during the Vietnam War, I think to repair the runways and roads for the evacuation. Mm -hmm. and Nixon he was president, and he, he pledged to bring everybody back from Vietnam. And, but they had, after the Tet Offensive, but they mortared a lot of runways. They had to repair those and extend them. I think they were, some of them were being extended so they could accommodate a C-5A with this absolutely huge plane. Um, but I thought, you know, when I got out of training, you know, I, I trained as a truck driver. So I figured, well, I guess I know where I'm going. And they sent me to the Walson Army Hospital to be an orderly. And, and that was only about two weeks, and then I came back to the reserve unit. Mm -hmm. But um, I asked the commander of the hospital, um, you know, my unit got called up, and what am I doing here? And he said, if you don't train with the unit, you don't go into combat with the unit. So I guess timing is everything. Wow. So never did go to Vietnam. Interesting story. Yeah. I, love, I love learning more about you, Tim. This is great. I'm sure people will be interested in that. But... This guy wants to buy silver and gold. So what kind of advice would you give him when it comes to the right kind of silver and gold uh, well, to start stacking? Last right. time we were, yes, talking, you know, it, we were talking about some of the things that are becoming hard to find. And um, I still haven't received the one ounce rounds that have an order. Um, I got an order of 10 ounce bars, but they're all committed already. Um, I have more 10 ounce bars coming in as soon as I can get down there. Um, we're able to get the Silver Eagles, but the price, the premium actually went up on them. Um, we're able to get the Maple Leafs. The Canadian Mint has been terrific for the last year. They've been able to give you whatever you want. And um, I have the Philharmonics from Austria. Uh, I think I'm down to one more tube of those. Just a few rounds. Waiting for the Buffaloes. Okay. Uh, waiting for one ounce bars, five ounce bars. Mm -hmm. And a lot of gold, if you don't mind uh, pure gold. Yeah. The Maple Leafs yeah. are what we, we, we're picking up now. Oh. And they're a much better deal than the American Eagles, at least for now. And mm -hmm. I'm assuming the U.S. Mint's going to have the price of the Eagles down pretty soon. Yeah. He'll sell you this one for really cheap. <laughs> yeah. Really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could, um, your suggestions, put a, kind of a package together, a neat little package maybe of, of, um, uh, not random, but um, nice little uh, variation of uh, silver. Uh, I'd like to get about a half an ounce of gold if you have something like that. I only have one ounce right now. Okay. I, I usually carry lots of uh, at least one ounce. Okay. Um, I had a tray full of fractionals. They were British sovereigns, mm -hmm. um, ducats from the Netherlands, uh, 20 francs. Um, I even had a 10. It was under this, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should put something oh i gotta open the safe again okay this takes me 10 minutes now to get open the safe um yeah i have but the one ounce we're able to get in any quantity and they're maple leaves which okay. are pure absolutely beautiful mm. um and they're much more reasonable than the american eagles and i think they're pretty much pretty close to the price of a, like a crew grand uh -huh. did you bring your fly back in yeah i don't have a um, That's your pit fly. Well, how about uh, maybe we could do something with uh, silver then? Oh, silver. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of different choices. You know, right now, um, probably the most liquid are the American Eagles and the, and the uh, Maple Leafs and maybe the the, um, the other sovereign coins, mm -hmm. and the ones who represent a country. Um, what about the bars? Well, the bars are, if, you're, are if cool. your interest is just getting silver and you don't care what it is, um, the bars are probably the, the best bargain for mm -hmm. the money. Um, I like bars, uh, coins, uh, rounds. I like a, a you know kind of a smattering of of all of them. Um, you know, American, uh, Canadian, whatever we have. I like to have a you know kind of a 
a nice, variety pack? Yeah, so nice little, <laughs> so I can look at them and go, oh, I like that, I like that, yeah. I like that. Well, the so. only one that is a little higher are the American Eagles, mm -hmm. and that's because of the supply we have been anticipating is not here yet. Right. Um, I think the Maple Leafs are a good value, and the uh, Philharmonics are a good value. When I was on, when I've been waiting for my, you know, one ounce Buffalo Rouse, I see I have three here. I may have a smattering of two or three others. Um, but when, until those come in, uh, I think those are just a little bit more. So um, they're, they're a good deal. And then, of course, the 10 ounce bars of all the silver I have, they're the least expensive. So, hey, I'd be glad to suggest and help you out too on this little sure, variety pack. Sure. But that would be, uh, that that'd would be, be fun. Yeah, that'd be great too. All right. Yeah. If if you'll let me, Tim. Oh sure. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, there goes Yankee again. Yeah, we're gonna have to start using constitutional more than junk, apparently. Um, True, constitutional. You even got some yeah, yeah, mint of, set over there. I don't know. If... I have lots and lots of silver uh, proof sets upstairs. If you if you really want those, and I have a lot of early '60s uh, proof sets. Um, you know, 61, 2, 3, and 4, a lot of those. Um, but, you know, in when the um, zombie apocalypse comes, people are going to want to rip and open those proof sets, and yeah. that's like heresy in the coin business. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, I, I, the Patriot Pistol is made up of a bunch of quarters ripped out of proof sets, and yeah. I'll tell you, so that don't was... Don't remind me. Whoa. I'm still getting calls. You're still getting calls yeah. on that? Ah, it's the Patriot Pistol. Yeah, there's options for you. If you want to take a look at some constitutional silver, that's yeah. not a bad thing to add to the stack. Oh. Yeah, no, I love uh, I love a variety of cool. of, of all of that. All right. um, I think I'm going to be picking up a lot of constitutional. I'm not sure when, um, but, you know, when I talked to this fellow who was considering selling it, um, he said, well, What's your priority? I said, I need more quarters, number one. I wonder why. <laughs> Dollars and dimes probably equally is, is mm -hmm. uh, my supply falls falls off. Do you still have tubes of 2021 Canadian maple leaves? I do. He just brought out a Kit Kat. Dude, you gotta hold this. Oh yeah, Scottsdale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? That is a chunk of silver. It is. <laughs> yeah. How shiny it is. I know, right? <laughs> wow. I told that my wife neat. about Kit Kat. And she's like, I love Kit Kats. Yeah. Oh, you got to get one. I'm like, it's yeah. silver. Can't <laughs> eat it. It's like a Kit Kat. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So that's 20 troy ounces right there. It is. And ooh, here we go. Yeah working on that monster box. I got to finish it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some other stuff. Hmm. Tell me that isn't beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Those are neat. Those maple leaves are impressive. Hmm. I didn't tell you why I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt today. No, you didn't. Um, my daughters made an appointment for my booster. And um, they're watching out for that's you. Because they are. They are. Not, they love wants, you, Tim. They're trying to keep you, you safe. You have to understand the structure of our family. We've been <laughs> very close for many years. And um, they were very appreciative that I quit my job, came in here, bought this place so I could go to all their activities all the time. Um, but now they want to kind of want to run my life, you know. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? But it, you know, I, like I think I have natural immunity, and sure. you know, it's it's really disturbing to me that the government is not giving credit to anybody with natural immunity. We're, we're talking millions of people. I mean, if they want to have everybody, if they want herd immunity. Give these people a, a reasonably uh, accurate antibody test. You add in the people that have recovered from COVID, yep. myself included. You have herd immunity. I, I agree. And it's um, it's all about control and um, bureaucracy. And uh, I guess in this government, bureaucracy is going to try to run our lives. All right. So we got a, a, an idea for a variety pack. So you obviously tell me if, if I'm wrong here. But 
10 American Eagles, a tube of Canadian Maple Leafs. Why not just start right off mm -hmm. with a nice sealed mm -hmm. up tube, right? Mm -hmm. um, he really loves this Buffalo bar. So I think one of those. Um, you had three of those Buffaloes over there? There are three left. Yeah, well, no, there are, I, yeah, there I think left. he's going to take all three. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and that should bring the uh the bulk of it yes yes so he wants some constitutional too tim wow he's holding his first morgan nice huh awesome <laughs> yeah you got a piece yeah you don't have either of them Those are your first? Yes. Those oh. are my first uh, first two right there. So. <laughs> That's awesome. I, We're gonna got, get I you... got caught up in the moment. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I know exactly what you're talking about. There's your Benji. Benjamin Franklin. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, you get your uh, Walker. Walking Liberty. Half dollar. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, very nice. And a quarter. Oh, yeah. Washington quarter. That's and it. a Merc. Yes. First for all of those, right? Yes. First for <laughs> this, uh, for everything, actually. So, very excited. It feels, no, it's just exciting. Just real exciting. <laughs> and I thank you and I thank Tim for, obviously, for your videos and for all of uh, Tim's uh help also so yeah. my 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 privilege if i had a small part in it i, I really am honored well to. it's uh, a fellow uh, uh co-worker who's also a subscriber mm -hmm. um sent me to your youtube channel I'm watching it for about six months and finally said i gotta come down and see tim and uh and here i am so what what is your goal in sacking um First of all, I like I like collecting things. Um, I also like obviously getting the history from Tim, yeah. um, but um, prepping, uh, but also uh, stacking for uh, generational wealth. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought I'd uh, put it into to metals because I know with the fiat it just uh, wouldn't have been uh, put to as good a use as, <laughs> as this. So. Smart man. Well, I'm going to join you and grab one of these while I'm at it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. It was You're great, to, great well, to meet you. Thank you for everything.